everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Anna, AKA Glitter and Lasers, and today we're, we're doing another haul because you guys like them. I like shopping. It works for everyone. There is a hair in my mouth and it is disgusting. Dry shampoo doesn't taste delicious. Just, just in case you ever wondered, not delicious. Anyway, today's haul is from Amazon and I haven't done an Amazon haul in a while. I don't know, I just haven't been very like inspired to. They did start this new series called The Drop, which is where they work with influencers. Now to be real, The Drop has been around for a while. They make like collections with influencers, but for the most part, up until just a few months ago, they didn't make plus size with any of these drops. They would just make it for straight sizes. So I couldn't buy any of the items. And still with some of these drops, they are not completely size inclusive, which is frustrating when you're trying to shop them because you're like, yo, is my size gonna be included or not? Who knows? Like literally who knows? Also by promoting the items that are available in plus in the drop, maybe I could convince them like just a little bit to start offering everything in plus. I mean, it's not that hard. And obviously there are people out there who want to buy it. So let's prove them that today <laughs> together. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is, this is a mess. This is a mess, but that's what you come for. Reality, authenticity, slightly disheveled me looking like an adult toddler. That's what you get from this channel. Okay. Let's start. Um, I did take a look at this item a little bit earlier and I was like, what the hell was I thinking when I purchased this? Um, we have this, this bralette. It is an orange bralette. Can it be tall the top? Maybe, uh, probably not fair too, because it's a very thin material. It does have adjustable straps. It is stretchy in some places. Um, yeah, interesting. The bottom <laughs> is a pair of underwear with some tool on it. That's the best way to explain it. Oh, and I didn't even see this. It's got two slits down the front. So when I want my thighs out, you know, normally I just wear under a brown underwear, but here I can also have a chiffon. Um, I don't know what else to call this other than a penis flap. <laughs> because it's just like, you know how like in ancient times, the times of the past, men would wear just like a flap over their their nether region. That's kind of what this is like. Like it's just like a random piece of fabric. We'll see. Sometimes I mock stuff like this and then it looks amazing on me and I instantly regret it. But looking at it, I have a deep sense of fear and loathing. <laughs> it, it could be good. It could be good. Let's hold out for a hero here. I need a hero. We'll see. We're, we're holding out for this one. Um, it's not the highest quality, but not the lowest quality either. And if it does look good, it could be good for like on vacation at a resort. Um, it's a great color. I do love this color. This is actually my favorite color. The top is not very supportive. So if you are large chested, <laughs> you should just pass on this because there's no support in this top at all. Like your girls are going to be out and about. You know, they're, they're gonna take trips. You're gonna be look one way and they're gonna be like, peekaboo, surprise! And nobody really wants that on vacation. That did happen to me once on a vacation and this child came <laughs> running up to me and was like, mommy, I can see her nipple. And I was like, oh God, this is my worst fear. Not only did I have my boob out in public, but a child has come and told me and now I am a, a terrible human. But um, thank, thank goodness they were European and it wasn't a big deal, but I was mortified, so go me. <laughs> I don't even know how, how do you end a story about your boob being out? I don't know, I don't know. So I didn't like it on the hanger, but oh my God, I'm kidding, this is terrible. This is, a, this is the, I have the fabric covering my tiny melons because the top provides no support and the bottom is made for someone um, like a preteen gymnast. It's really small. Um, so I just created this instead because, you know, I Tim gunned it. I made it work. <laughs> okay, next item we have. This is from, oh, it's a lot of fabric. Oh, it's not lined in the front. Okay, well. Okay, so this is from a mystery brand. It does not say inside. So it's like mysterious brand from China. Immediately something comes to mind here. It is not lined in the chest region. In fact, it's like, you can completely see me through this fabric. At least I hope you can. 
you got to wear a good bra with this one. <laughs> you got to wear, you got to wear a good bra, which makes me mad because normally when you have this flounce, you can get away with not having a bra on because like nobody can see and this kind of makes that region shapeless, but not this one. This one, you definitely need a bra. What's weirder yet is that the skirt is lined. So like they could have easily just had the lining up in the chest, but they didn't. And that always baffles me when I see that in a brand. It's like, you, you were so close. You were so close, but you didn't do the bare minimum, which is just making sure that like, when you make a dress that nobody wants to wear a bra with, that they don't have to wear a bra with it. And I know some of you are like, just wear a bra. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, I could wear a bra, but I want to not have to wear a bra. In fact, I purchased items specifically thinking, I don't have to wear a bra with this. And that's where you lost me. It is a nice pleated skirt. It is fairly well made. We've got just some random kind of stitched edges that could be, could be better done. It, they're a little rough, they're a little busted, but um, this, this probably will look beautiful on me. Uh, I'm just a little frustrated that the top isn't lined. I hate bras so much. <sighs> so as much as I'm not a fan of the fact that it is sheer here, it is adorable. It is a cute dress. It is an affordable dress. And even though like the seams are a little wonky in some parts, you can't tell and I look great. And I have to admit that to you all because I did dog this dress a little, but on me, I am a dream. Look at this. And swirl, twirl, fabulous. Mwah. Next is a set. Now, I don't think these are sold as a set, but I bought them as a set, so we're gonna try them on as a set and talk about them as a set. So the first is a mock neck top. It's got them big sleeves, which I love. This set is from the drop. And these sleeves, one thing I'm noticing right away is they got some good weight to them. Like these aren't just puff sleeves. These are puff sleeves with some power, almost like a kind of shoulder pad, but it's just extra fabric. I don't know. I like that. I like how like thick the... <laughs> She a thickums. No, I love how thick the sleeves feel. And I love that this has some nice weight to it. It is a ribbed fabric in a camel color. I'll be honest, I hate a mock neck. Uh, I try them on. I'm trying to like re-love them. I had an experience like two years ago where I wore a turtleneck on the internet and people got really, really passionate about the fact that I should never wear a turtleneck because my neck be too thick. And now I will say I do question every time I wear a turtleneck or a mock neck because they were kind of right. My, my, I did look like a turtle, like just barely coming out of its shell with that turtleneck on. And I can admit that now, but also it was cold. So, you know, I'm being real about it. <laughs> it's a very real haul today. Um, yeah, so, it, and I like that it's longer, which is nice. Um, sometimes these tops are like cropped, which I love a good crop, but sometimes you just wanna be able to tuck it in and get that nice clean silhouette. So with it came this skirt. Um, it's a pencil skirt and it does have a slit in the back as most pencil skirts do because if you don't have one, it's like nearly impossible to walk. Same ribbed fabric, um, nice elastic waist here, good thick elastic, it's not like a flimsy one. So it's pretty well made. Impressed with this set. I hope it looks adorable and I hope that my neck cooperates with this endeavor. Okay, so this feels very Kim Kardashian West. Oh wait, no. Kim Kardashian, formerly Kim Kardashian West, because that, that shit's over now. You know, we're gonna look back on this and be like, remember when Kanye was married to Kim? Those were some dark times, because that is the span of 20, 20, well, a long time. Anyway, moving on. Um, this is very Kim, Kim Kardashian. Uh, I will say it runs a little large, so I actually have some extra room here. I'd love to pull it up a little higher, but I can't because it's just too big. Also from the drop, we have these cute booty shorts and a tie-dye print. I got these because I envision myself going on vacation sometime. Someday I'm gonna be on a beach drinking a cocktail and I'm gonna need some booty shorts to cover my derriere when I need to go to the bathroom or sit in one of those all-inclusive restaurants where they make you just wear shorts but no tap, which is also very confusing to me because like, is a bikini top therefore the top? Then why is a bikini bottom not a bottom? I don't know the rules, guys. I just know that I gotta put pants on to eat at the buffet. And as a girl who loves her buffet, these are gonna come in handy. I love tie-dye. Um, the only thing that annoys me a little bit about them is that I'm paying for something that I definitely could do myself because you know I love a good tie-dye moment. 
but they are really well done. I love the colors and I think they'll be cute. So I actually really like these. They are a little tight in the thigh for me, which like happens because I have excessively large thighs because of my lipedema. So um, overall, they're better than most shorts fit me. I probably won't keep them because I want there to be even more room and I would typically buy these in a larger size. But that said, if you are a 3X, you're probably fine because I actually have room here at the waist and the only thing I'm really feeling a little bit uncomfortable in is just my thighs, which again, forces me to size up all the time. Next up is this dress from, again, a mystery brand. It is a window pane dress. I love window pane. I love a good check. And this feels very much like, like I'm a rich lady working in an office. Like I need a boldly colored coat to go with this so I can tell you that you're just not meeting your productivity and I need to look for someone new. Um, it does also have a weird mock neck again, or maybe that's just a circle neck that's somehow sewn upwards. Huh. I don't know what this neckline is doing. It's doing something. We'll see when I put it on. I do like the sleeve length. I do like the contouring of the body. It's a kind of cheaper stretch fabric, so I'm not in love with the fabric, but I don't think it was very expensive, so I'm willing to give it a pass for that. Yeah. My name is Professor O'Brien, and today we will be discussing human sexuality. <laughs> okay, I feel like a hot teacher. I feel so good, but also classy at the same time. And I just want to say that X marks the spot, baby. Ah! <laughs> okay, this item is, I already have. I already have it in cream. I've worn it in other videos. It's such a good item that my best friend has it because I got it for her. It is this amazing sweatshirt with puff sleeves, also from The Drop, comes in cream, pink, and black. It is soft, it is comfortable, it is versatile. You can wear it like a sweatshirt, or if you tuck it in and kind of hide this band at the bottom, it looks like a dress shirt. It's amazing. Get this one. I know this one for sure is a solid winner. Um, I would say it runs a little bit on the larger side because I have one in cream that's the double XL. Still works for me, is a little bit more fitted. This is a 3X, so it should be just a little bit looser on me, but yeah, love this item. Okay, so as I expected, this shirt is a little oversized. I don't know how I feel about this. It feels a little bit too blousey. I feel like I could get a good something in there. I wonder what I could hold on. Let's see what I can fit in my shirt. I mean, this is probably a terrible idea, but like, <laughs> it does not look good. Here I have this and it's not even tight. It's very, it's very big and just in this region. And I just, you know, it's just, I think it's a little bit too poofy. It's, it's, you know, unless I'm trying to hide snacks, we've talked about this before. I love a good item of clothing where I can like bundle in some treats and sneak into a movie theater. But um, this, this feels a little bit too much for everyday wear. I actually think I like the smaller size. Because it's not fit properly to my hips, it just keeps doing that shimmy. And what's worse is that shimmy will turn into this and probably some crack attack because if I'm wearing pants that aren't as high cut as these, my, my butt, my butt is out. And that is also a negative. So um, tucked in, it probably looks better. And we can ignore everything I just said because tucked in is the solution. I pulled this up and I'm like, I know, I know that if there's one, oh, what are you? I thought these were shorts and I instantly had a panic, but then I realized it's a weird button down with some frill detail. Again, mystery brand that made this, uh, I kind of love it. I often don't remember anything I buy online to show in a haul until I unbox it because, you know, I look at so many pieces that I forget. So sometimes I'll be like, I don't even remember purchasing this one, but it's kind of cool. It's got this really neat yoke right around here where it's kind of just detailed with some frill. And it also has a tie. I like a tie around my neck. I don't know. I don't know why that is. I don't have any rationale for it. I tried to come up with one and I was like, this sounds inauthentic. It's just, I like it, okay? That's it, I like it. I don't have explanations for everything. Um, I can't put my hands down, they're stuck. <laughs> I really like how this color brings out my eyes. I think I would wear this like on a date night, like just to show someone that I'm classy, but also available. I, can't, I literally can't move my arms. I can't move arms. I can't move arms. Um, I didn't even do the bow. Hold on. It's really hard to tie this. 
Oh, looks so much better now. It's really brought the look together. <laughs> I'm getting out of this now. So last item. Thanks for sticking with me this long. This is a halter top. It is a sweater piece. This is from the drop as well. Again, I focused mostly on items from the drop. This goes over your head like that. I'm dressed. No, but it, it does go like that. I will be interested to see how supportive the sides are um, because oftentimes in garments like this, they can slide down on plus bodies because they don't have enough like elastic at the top to kind of like, you know, stay here. And then they just rely on this and that doesn't feel great. Or <laughs> for small chested girls like myself, it just comes down real low and looks terribly awkward. So we'll see. So I actually really like this shirt. The support is definitely here in the band. So I don't have a lot of pulling on the neckline, which I really appreciate. And this would look adorable with like a cute skirt or like a white pair of pants if I wanna be dangerous. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So cute. So thank you so much for joining me on whatever this mess was. Uh, a haul, a commentary on my life, story time. It was a little bit of everything today, I'm not gonna lie. But thanks for sitting through it all. As always, links to everything are down below in the description box. Also linked below will be this fabulous toddler inspired outfit. If you want me to do a lookbook of outfits inspired by toddler clothes, let me know down below because it's something I've definitely thought about. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.